So I'm totally not camping out the door. Not in any way possible. I am totally not here, just sitting here waiting for the uh, box to arrive anytime now. No, actually, I'm actually filming some uh, content for uh, Vlogmas, which is uh, basically a video each day in December. I'm just going to do that, and hopefully uh, UPS is going to show up at some point. But, you know, got, got, got puppies here to uh, keep guard while I'm filming. So I'll definitely hear them coming. Po, po, po. Vlogmas. 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 <coughs> yep, we gotta go. It's a little bit later in the day, I had to get a few things done, and uh, yeah. Let's talk about this. This is amazing. And this is a box. Woo! And if you looked at the title of the video, you know exactly what's in this box. Um, I had one person comment from a photo, looked like it's been in a rugby, ma rugby match. Um, it's been bounced on pretty much every corner. Um, so hopefully it's not damaged on the inside. And, ta-da, um, yeah, I'm showing you, yeah, all right, there you go. The Psyonix Pro, or I guess it's the Aurora Pro from Psyonix. So there we go. Um, thank you for tuning into my unboxing. I'll see you all later. Actually, I'm just joking. I'm still gonna open this. So, see me I can get the little tab open. <laughs> And we open it further, and we got some documentation, more documentation. I'm sure this is great value, excellent read. What does it say? Important product safety instructions in English. Okay, so I actually went through and read this giant pack of paper. Essentially, it's a whole bunch of different languages. Um, you got, uh, I think this is Vietnamese. Lithuanian, Turkish, Portuguese, uh, German, and English. And when I open up one of these little cards here, it's very clear not all written in English. Um, if I have it here, you can see there's the English instructions, then we have French, then we have, uh, I think this is Dutch. And then on the back, there's Italian, Japanese, and uh, Spanish. So I think this pretty much covers every single language you could possibly think of. So that's what all those little cards were. So it's not actually a huge read. Uh, it says, let's set you up with your new camera. And it's basically telling me to use the charger that's included. There is an app, which I've already downloaded for it. And then it says, go to Psyonix website for learning more because that little giant pile of paper I just picked out before this clearly isn't gonna tell me everything I need to know. Okay. And that's, we're going with, so we're on to unboxing number two here. And we just get through this plastic wrap. And this is why I wasn't too worried um, with the box being a little bit uh, bumped up because I knew the actual camera is in its own little box, um, little case. It's hard plastic, all that good stuff. Surprisingly, a dog did not bark on that one. So at this point, I do want to say this isn't a sponsored video by Psyonix. However, I didn't actually pay for this camera. It's a gift from my uncle. Uh, he saw some of my earlier videos out at night and he was like, yeah, your image quality could be a little bit better, especially in night vision when I'm trying to show people stuff. And he realized that I was basically blinding myself every time I did the video. So big shout out to my uncle. Thank you so much for this. Um, and to everyone else, you're definitely gonna benefit from this. So be sure to thank my uncle as well. And uh, yeah, let's open it up. And it is, oh, it opens on the side. All right, so, oh, these are, Power claw latches. They're very similar to the ones I have on my Nook boxes. So there's one on each side, folds up like that. And then 
ta-da, the actual camera. So it comes with a camera, it comes with a strap, it comes with a cable for plugging it in to charge it, um, which is nicely all housed in there. Because it's the Pro, it actually comes with not one, but two batteries. And the thing is, these batteries, while they do say Psionics on them and stuff, I've read online that they are basically a Olympus type brand battery. They're very common. Um, they're commonly found, so I'm gonna be able to get some more batteries uh, relatively inexpensively if I need them. Um, it does come with a micro SD card and a micro SD to SD card reader. Um, the micro SD card says it is 32 gigabytes and it says it's a Kingston Canvas brand. And then the pièce de résistance, uh, pièce de résistance, ta-da, is the actual camera. And there's a good amount of heft to this. This is like, like it's nice, it's small, it's compact, but like when I'm holding it, I'm going like, yeah, this has got some weight to it. Nice hand feel, look, some controls at the top, um, your scene switch, all that stuff. So this is the uh, Psyonix Aurora Pro. And this is currently their top of the line night vision camera that they sell. And I'm gonna be trying this out over the next couple days. I'll be posting up a couple of videos. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more of this. If you do have any questions uh, about the specs, etc., about the camera, um, please leave a comment below. But basically it's a 720p night vision camera that allows you to see in daylight. And if you do stuff here on the front, switching to scenes, Somehow, I don't know how though. I'm gonna have to read that instruction manual. It's built basically to be relatively indestructible. And as it's the pro version, not only does it have the better sensor inside, but it has a whole bunch of cool features that are useful for people who wanna use it for hunting, um, who wanna use it for boating, navigation, um, geocaching, and a bunch of other stuff uh, with GPS basically installed. Um, so it's kind of cool, it's indestructible, theoretically, although I'm not going to run it over with the car. <laughs> I have another video where I'm running something over with the car, but it's not going to be this camera. Don't worry. Alright, so I had to wait for the batteries to charge because they don't ship batteries these days um, charged anymore. And that took a little bit of time. One thing I'm going to mention as a pet peeve, although I did know this in advance and Apple apparently does the same thing, while it does come with a USB cable, you do have to actually have your own USB charge port. So not a major issue, but um, without a battery charger, you do need to charge it in the camera itself. So I'm going to go through this in a lot more detail in another video. So make sure you do subscribe if you're interested in seeing what I'm getting up to. All right, so let's get to some test footage. Alright, so here's Pepper as she's sniffing. Um, I got some lights on here at the house, but this is sort of daytime mode, and as you can sort of see here, it's quite dark and it doesn't go so great. I'm going to switch it over to twilight, if I can find it. Alright, now we're into twilight mode. Um, it's not bad, actually. Um, it's definitely more than I can see right now with my own eyes. Um, if I was dark adjusted, probably could do a little bit better. As you can see here, there's a lot of glare from that light. But if we look out here, um, and it is raining. And then if we switch it one more, if it's going to go. Uh, maybe I have to press the button. Oh, there we go. Haha, -ha, figured it out. Alright, that, that required a little bit of a kick. Um, and then this is uh, night mode. And again, you're getting a lot of light from the uh, house lights, so I wouldn't call this super dark out here. Um, as you can sort of see here, various lights. Uh, and there's Pepper and Eva. Oh, there's the puppies. And it's been raining, so they're like, we don't want to go in the grass right now. Yeah, yeah. So that's night mode. That's actually surprisingly good. Um, again, there's a lot of light coming from the house itself, um, so I'm going to go to a part of the house location where there isn't any light and give it a go. I have no idea what settings it is. Oh, it's 30 frames per second. There you go. Alright, so now we're out here at the front of the house, and it's pretty darn dark. 
Um, there are some uh, lights up there where the Christmas tree is. And a few little light bleeds off the side here. You can sort of see over here. But that's the rest of this is pretty dark. Like night vision wise, I can sort of see that little light over there barely. So definitely something where you can look through here and say, hey, I can actually see stuff. Like I'm really wondering what's that over there. Da 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 da, spooky music. So here's just some photos. Um, basically, they appear to be mostly screen caps of the video. And I took a quick picture of Pepper here to finish this off. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider a like and subscribe. And my testing of the psionics is to be continued.